Hello everyone, this is Petey from Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and here we are with another tutorial on our Hack and Slash series. Now this is a uh, volume, or I guess number 263, and let's just go ahead and open up Unity. Now the last tutorial we did, we actually started implementing a little bit of debug code uh, that was easily turned on and off. Now I'm going to want this debug code to only show when I have a mob targeted. Uh, so a little bit later on when we revisit the targeting for, at least when we have multiple mobs in the scene, uh, this will only pop up when I actually have something targeted and of course the numbers that are going to be displayed are going to be the uh, The numbers for the mob that I actually have targeted uh, But that's not what I want to work on this video this video I want to start working on the melee combat a little bit more and the first thing I actually want to do is decide you know how exactly uh, Do I want the attacks to go now? I, I know uh, I want uh, your, the base attack to be about uh, two seconds and I know I want this to be uh, the same for the player and the mob and of course there's going to be modifiers that we can apply along the way maybe a, a certain number from the player's stats will either increase or decrease the the speed at which the player can uh, use a melee attack uh, but let's actually go ahead and go into game settings it's actually game settings 2 now i'm going to go ahead and open this up in mono develop and i'm going to create a new constant for uh, i guess a base melee attack uh, this way here, if I decide that uh, melee itself is just too slow, I only have to change this number in one spot to actually increase the speed. Now we've got a lot of constants here, and I, like I said before, a lot of these we're probably going to be moving out to an external file file later. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to keep everything in here. And uh, yeah, let's keep it here with the uh, base melee stuff or at least with the combat stuff. So I'm gonna put it right up top here and it will be public. And of course, we're gonna make it a constant and I will make it a float. And I'm gonna say base melee attack. And I'm not really sure, do I wanna call it speed or do I wanna call it timer? It's the time between attacks. So I'm gonna say timer. And I'm gonna start this off at about two seconds. Now we want to head over to our base character uh, simply because I want this to be uh, the exact same for our mob and our PC. And I want to create a new variable here. And I'm just going to come down to, oh, let's go um, right here. So we'll create a private uh, float and I'm going to call it attack timer. And to start off with, I'm just going to make it equal to our game settings two dot uh, base attack timer and then I'm going to want some method that I call and this method well it's actually the method I don't want to keep calling I just want to get I just want to keep calling this so actually let's make this public and we'll get rid of that uh, so the way this is going to work is I'm just going to keep calling this attack timer anytime I need to know uh, what the, the attack timer for this person should be and it's actually melee attack timer and I'm going to want some function which I'm just going to go ahead and throw down at the bottom here that every so often when something changes with our character or our mob uh, for instance maybe he gets a, a speed buff or something like that uh, this has to be called to recalculate uh, his attack speed so I'm going to go ahead and just add that in down here and I'm going to make this public for now. I'll make it void. It does not return anything. And I'm just going to say calculate uh, melee attack speed. And I'm not actually going to put anything in here. It's a pretty descriptive name. So I'm just going to say to do. And this is actually going to be based off of uh, whatever stat you choose to use to affect your your attack speed. Uh, so, for instance, let's say uh, my melee attack speed. Uh, I only want uh, maybe my my strength or might, whatever you want to call that attribute, and maybe my speed to to factor in uh, how fast I can swing a sword. Then I'd create some sort of uh, algorithm right here for it. But it really. It's going to be completely up to you, and right now I just don't want to deal with it. I just want to work with the, the base one, because I know that's two seconds, 
and it's just easier if you if you know exactly what it's supposed to be it's easier to work with so once I've got that saved, I'm going to come over to my AI class. And we've already created a method for the melee attack. So I'm just going to scroll down uh, till we get to it, which should be down near the, I uh, must have passed it. Uh, it's right here. And I want to start filling in the, the process of exactly what happens during a melee attack. Uh, one is I'm going to have to deal with the animation. And this itself could be uh, several different steps. Uh, you're going to want to be able to time uh, the speed of the animation with the actual uh, the timer that you're going to be attacking with. So by default, we have it set to two seconds. And let's say you have an animation uh, for that you're going to be using for your attack, and it's only one second long or one and a half seconds long. Uh, we'll have to uh, set the, the length of the animation to actually be two seconds. And likewise, if it's actually long, if it's a four second animation, it's going to be sped up a bit. Hopefully it doesn't look too awkward. Uh, but anyway, we're going to have to deal with the animation. Uh, we're going to actually have to uh, perform the attack. Well, we should describe this a bit better because the whole thing is actually perform the attack. Uh, let's say decide if we hit or not first. Uh, if hit. Uh, we're going to want to do something, so I'm actually just going to put a couple spaces in there. Uh, if we don't hit, we we'll want an else. Uh, we might do something. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but just in case. And of course, after this whole little if block is done, let me actually separate that a bit. We'll want to set uh players or it's not necessarily the player set attack uh what we want is uh, like a reset timer so he can attack again uh, until uh the, the time that he's supposed to wait between attacks is up again so attack reset timer is zero uh so we're gonna have to set this variable up and i obviously don't want to call it that so we're actually going to go back well we'll save that off I will head back into our base character and right under here, we're going to set another variable. Now I'm creating these as publics, uh, but we really don't want them to be public later on. We should be creating some properties to like getters and setters for them, but just to keep things really simple and I'll just make them public. I can watch them in the inspector and uh, when I come through to clean things up, I can go ahead and encapsulate those a little bit better. So this will need to be a float and we're going to say, uh, melee reset timer. Whoops, forgot my F. Well, I guess we don't really need, don't even really need that. But anyway, I'm going to put it there just to remind myself. Okay, so we have that. And we'll come back here. Uh, before we can even perform an attack, a melee attack, uh, one of the things we should do up here is to check to see, uh, I guess even before that, uh, to see if it's even possible to perform that attack. Now I'm actually going to create three separate timers for uh, my different attacks. So I'll have one for my melee attack, one for my ranged attack, and one for my magic attack. Originally I was just going to create one and have them all work off of that. Uh, but I just wanted to try something different here. It might at the end decide, you know, like, oh, this is horrible. You know, what was I thinking? And... It shouldn't be that hard just to go back down just to have one timer. But I thought, what the hell, let's just go ahead and try uh, three different timers. Uh, so we're going to reset the attack timer to zero. Now there is actually a third variable that I'm going to need to take care of here. Um, let's see. Well, here, let's just take some notes. I'll just do it down here. So we have this one variable. We'll copy it right here. Uh, the melee attack timer. And this is how long uh, in between melee attacks that we can perform. So I'm just going to take some notes. And I'm just going to stick them here for now. Not the best spot, but it's a spot I'm currently working on. Time it takes between attacks. And 
Uh, we have this one here. And this is going to be the time since the last, or the time since we're counting down to zero, the time left before we can attack again. Now here's where I was getting confused. We actually need a third variable uh, to say how fast the attack is. So this is the one where we're want to, going to want to call melee attack speed. The speed the attack happens at. All right, so there we go. Hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. So I'm going to come over to game settings. And well, we have one for this. We do need a speed one as well. So let me see. Game settings two. I'm actually going to start breaking some of these apart. Uh, base values for different attacks. And I'm actually just going to copy this one. Paste, change the name, uh, base melee attack. And we'll just call it speed. Now we can make them wait. Well, to start off with, yeah, we'll just try it like this here. So basically he has to wait two seconds in between melee attacks and an animation actually takes two seconds to uh, perform. So we'll start off with that. And of course this was a constant. I like my constants all in capital. Come back to this one and we can just cut and paste this again. And melee attack speed and speed. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure there's no errors. I have to check that out in Unity. Now there is actually a third variable that I'm going to need to take care of here. Um, let's see. Well, here, let's just take some notes. I'll just do it down here. So we have this one variable, we'll copy it right here, uh, the melee attack timer. And this is how long uh, in between melee attacks that we can perform. So I'm just gonna take some notes. I'm just gonna stick them here for now. Not the best spot, but it's a spot I'm currently working on. Time it takes between attacks. And uh, we have this one here. And this is going to be the time since the last, or the time since we're counting down to zero, the time left before we can attack again. Now here's where I was getting confused. We actually need a third variable uh, to say how fast the attack is. So this is the one where we're going to want to call melee attack speed. the speed the attack happens at. All right, so there we go. Hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. So I'm gonna come over to game settings. And well, we have one for this. We do need a speed one as well. So let me see, game settings two. I'm actually gonna start breaking some of these apart. Uh, base values for different attacks and i'm actually just going to copy this one paste change the name uh, base melee attack and we'll just call it speed now we can make them wait well to start off with yeah we'll just try it like this here so basically he has to wait two seconds in between melee attacks and an animation actually takes two seconds to uh, perform. So we'll start off with that. And of course, this was a constant. I like my constants all in capital. Come back to this one. And we can just cut and paste this again. And melee attack speed and speed. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure there's no errors. I have to check that out in Unity. Uh, no errors? Great. 